Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. So today we're going to look at your Baza chart and see how you can manage failure or rather how you can avoid failure in 2022. Because if we know what is most likely causing us to fail and we're referring mostly to our career and our work environment, then we can actually avoid uh, going down the wrong route before um, everything collapses, right? And in Baza astrology, there is a very, very simple way of actually determining what you need to do to avoid failure in any given year. And today we are looking specifically, obviously at 2022 to make sure that you succeed and that you can avoid mistakes. And again, this does apply to career. This is not necessarily anything to do with your personal life. This is really just for your job, for your career, uh, for your business. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to plot your Baza chart. So you can go to this uh, URL here. Um, I've also posted it in the notes to this video. So you can just copy paste and then plot your Baza chart. Date and time of birth, although the time is not so important because what we focus on is this one here, the month stem. So we really don't need the time of birth. Um, so just key in your date of birth. And what you will see is a chart like this. Never mind if you're completely new to this and if you don't quite know what it all means. The only thing you need to focus on is this one here. Yeah, where it says month. And this would be the month stem. Yeah, and there it will say Geng or Xin or Ji or Bing or Ding, whatever. Yeah, so just note what it says here. Is it Yang or Yin metal? What the actual Chinese name is. And then I will explain to you what this actually means and how you uh, can um, avoid failure based on your month stem. All right. So should your uh, month stem be Jia Wood, yeah, this one here, the Yang Wood, then um, your biggest risk for failure is because you make your you don't have actually any plan, yeah? You don't plan properly or you just have very, very ad hoc plans. You kind of plan as you go. So what you need to do if you, if you know that for this year, you don't really have a career plan or you don't really have a business plan, then right here, right now, you sit down and you start making a business plan. You start making a career plan for yourself. If you don't have a business, you're employed somewhere, what is your plan? Where do you want to be at the end of this year to make this actually a meaningful year? Yeah, plan for it. You can plan training courses, for example. You can plan to take some sort of development, self-development course, or you can plan to get a particular promotion, but you need a plan for that. And if you don't plan, then this uh, will feel like a failure at the end of the year. Now, if you have Yi wood, yeah, the yin wood, then your biggest risk for failure is because you just give up too quickly. Yeah, the first obstacle you see, the first sort of challenge that comes your way, you give up and you try something else. And um, when you try something else, again, you will meet with obstacles, you will meet with uh, difficulties, and again, you quit. So your uh, way to actually get through the year and make it a success is to stick with what you're doing, even if there are some challenges, even if there are some problems or some obstacles, don't give up, yeah, power through it, ask for help, yeah, don't just, uh, don't just give up uh, at the first sign of problems. Now, the next one is Bing fire, that's the yang polarity of fire. So your biggest risk for failure is that you fear failure. So you don't even try, yeah? Um, your fear of failure uh, kind of paralyzes you to the point that you don't even do anything at all, yeah? Now, failure is not necessarily a bad thing. If, if, if you fail at doing something, then at least you've tried and you've learned the valuable lessons. But as Bing fire, if you have Bing in the month stem, you somehow feel this year that you don't even want to take any risk whatsoever because, oh my God, what if I fail, right? So you need to really face those, face those fears 
and at least try because if you don't you will fail for sure uh, you will not be able to move your plans forward in any meaningful way if your month stem is ding fire then uh, there's just all talk but no action yeah you have a lot of plans and you talk a lot about, about those plans uh, but you're not actually implementing them yeah all talk no action and so even though the year looks great at the beginning of the year because you have all these plans you're not really taking action on them or you're not really executing those plans and then at the end of the year it will feel like you failed now easy solution to this is well traditionally speaking the masters would say well just don't make any plans yeah but this is not really um very empowering it's also not really practical you have to have a plan for what you're going to do um what i would say is get yourself an accountability buddy yeah make all those plans for the year for your career for your business but then tell them to someone who you respect to such a point that you don't want to disappoint them yeah you don't want to lose face in front of them tell them about your plans and ask them to help you by kicking you in the butt every now and then following up with you and see whether you've actually done what what you've talked about yeah so get an accountability buddy if your month stem is ding fire and then you will be uh, able to succeed now if you have wu earth in the month that's a yang polarity of earth if you have Wu Earth, you just get distracted all the time. You are scatterbrained. You are trying to do too many things at once. And it's like you're just kind of chasing after shiny objects left, right, and center. So what you need to learn is you need to focus. Yeah, focus on what it is that you want to do and don't get too distracted by all the noise and the clutter that is happening all around you. Yeah, it may be work-related drama or maybe... Maybe you get distracted by family drama or office politics or God knows what. Focus. Try to be laser focused on what it is you want to achieve. Yeah, you already know you're going to be distracted. So keep the distractions at a minimum and find some sort of tool to focus you back on the essentials when you when you realize that you're going to that you're distracted. Yeah, so this is key for you. Uh, to avoid failure. If your month stem is the earth, the yin polarity of earth, then you lack clarity about what you truly want to achieve and what your goals are. So um, if you lack clarity, if you don't even know what your goals are, then obviously you're not likely going to achieve anything at all. Or you're going to achieve something that doesn't really feel fulfilling and that's kind of off. It's not really what you wanted. So the first thing you need to do is actually get clarity over what it is you want. Yeah, sit down, uh, maybe meditate on it, or maybe talk to a business partner or a colleague and get clarity. What is What can you actually do? Yeah, what do you want to do? Get clarity of your goals, your objectives. And once you have this clarity, you can then move forward and take the right steps towards success. Now, if your month stem is gung metal, the yang polarity of metal, then um, the risk of failure lies in your uh, in your putting others first, not yourself. And while this is a good thing, yeah, because you're helping everyone else, you're taking care of too many of, of many other people's it, people, it's too much. Yeah, you need to every now and then also actually think about yourself. It's not to say that you shouldn't put others first. It's not to say that you shouldn't help others, but make sure that you have enough time and more important, enough energy for yourself as well. If you're taking care of too many other people, then uh, at the end of the day, you're too exhausted to actually do what, what you need to do for yourself. So make sure that while you're helping others, you also put time and effort and energy aside for yourself. Yeah. And that you're not being left behind. This is very, very important if you have gung metal in the month stem. Now, if you have sin metal in the month stem, 
then your biggest risk is that your goals and plans are unrealistic. Yeah, they're not really matching up with the reality on the ground. Uh, your abilities, your skills, your talents actually have to match your dreams. So you have to have realistic ambitions. I know we all want to be millionaires tomorrow. Um, that may not be the most realistic ambition. So try for something that's more achievable, more realistic. Yeah. And then once you once you've got a more realistic goal, you can actually achieve that. Maybe talk it through with someone else. Uh, talk to them about your goals and see what they say about it. See whether they find it realistic and then go ahead with it. Now, if your day stem is run water, the yang polarity of water, then the reason you're failing in your career this year is because there's simply no urgency. You don't really think that um, it's really important to do what you're trying to do, or you, you just don't, you're just kind of complacent. Yeah, you don't really feel the urge to do anything. You don't really feel pushed. So find someone again to, who pushes you. Yeah, find someone who cheers you up when you lack the motivation. Find someone who cheers you on to become better and to give you that sense of urgency that you seem to be lacking a little bit this year. And then lastly, we've got Kui water. That's the yin polarity of water. So if this is your uh, month stem, then your biggest risk or the reason why you tend to fail this year is because you're just way too comfortable where you are right now. Yeah, it's very comfortable. You Maybe you've got a good job. You don't want to rock the boat. And so nothing is going to happen. Yeah, you're not going to move forward. You're not going to move backward. And maybe that's okay for you. But if you actually have goals, if you have objectives, then you need to step out of your comfort zone and maybe do certain things that may not feel that comfortable or, or that may inconvenience you a little bit. So don't become too complacent if you have Kui water in the month stem. So these are the 10 reasons, uh, depending on your month stem, why you may fail uh, with your plans, with your career plans or with your business plans in 2022. But also knowing this now, you can actually counteract. You can avoid all of these pitfalls and you now know what to do to make this a successful year. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little Baza excursion. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please let me know. I've also got my email address in the notes to the video. And please do like and share this video with anybody who may be interested. See you soon.